What's up, dudes? Welcome to the video. This is going to be a um, kind of a recap of the California Custom Knife Show that I just got back from. I literally just got home. I'm going to do this uh, voiceover right now while it's all still fresh in my mind. Um, man, uh, I was like a kid in a candy shop, man. Um, you know, I've, I've seen so many of these knives um, online, pictures of them, videos of them and uh, never been able to handle them. So I was just grabbing knives and trying them out. It was uh, unbelievable. So um, this first booth was uh, Monterey Bay Knives. And I think, I forget what exactly this one was. It's a Laconico. Is it the Slayback? I can't remember, but it's kind of a special one with um, you know the graphic on the handle. Um, this was my first time handling any uh, Monterey Bay knife, and I was absolutely impressed. This one is the uh, the uh, Old Guard Mini, the Mini Old Guard Warncliffe. And holy crap, man, I need one of these. This one spoke to me so loudly. Um, it's got that Sanmai uh, ZDP 189 edge. Loved it. Here's just a little uh, video of the showroom floor, kind of a... 360 view of uh, what's going on. This is a new maker, uh, custom knife maker I hadn't heard of called Rip Knives, R-I-P Knives, in uh, Los Angeles, California. And um, man, these were so beautiful, especially this one right here. So beautiful, man. Uh, the grind on it reminds me of the Nightmare Grind from Strider. Um, the build quality felt really, really nice. You know, they weren't just flashy, but they were also built really well. Good stiff detents. You can see I um, snap it out with the thumb stud. It felt really good. Um, there's some information. S30V, hollow flat grind, textured Timascus handle. Just, gosh, man, external stop pins. Um, here's another uh, Warncliffe knife from him with the Timascus clip, and gosh, man. Um, I need to do more research and find out what's up with these guys, because this was some really, 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 really cool stuff. Up next here is the Riot booth. I saw this, uh, this Pena, this Damascus Pena. Not sure exactly which one it was. It's kind of a bigger one. Um, this is my first time handling a Pena. And man, I need one. <laughs> Best uh, top flipping action I've ever felt uh, of any top flipper, definitely. This one was uh, one I wasn't aware of either. I forget the designer's name. You can see his maker's mark there. Um, I like the look of this one a lot. Um, I kind of liked how uh, the blade looked. Uh, interesting flipper tab kind of thing. Um, I don't know, it's just kind of the, the blade and handle relationship. Um, was kind of unique. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, here's another one with a uh, different handle. Got some like jigged titanium and then some holes on the opposite side, on the lock side. Um, just, you know, they're, they're Riots, so very high quality fit and finish. Um, <clears throat> really nice stuff. And then next, we look at this absolutely bonkers prototype. This thing was massive. It was thick, dude. I forget what it's called. You can see it says prototype one out of three. And look how much is going on here. There's pieces just bolted on. I couldn't disengage it. I think it had a secondary lock somewhere. I think it was something to do with that button, but I couldn't do it one-handed. <laughs> so, gosh, that thing was insane, man. So many cool knives at the Riot booth. Here's another prototype. I think it's a prototype. Um, just really unique stuff. Really unique stuff. Yeah. And here we are at which? Is, what is this? Oh, more Riot. Here's another uh, another fancy Riot. Timascus uh, inlay on the bolster, micarta, Damascus. Not sure the model name on this one either. Um, you know, felt really good, obviously. Let's 
sexy, sexy knife. And here is my only glimpse I got at the Strider booth. It was absolutely mobbed the entire time. You can see some SMFs over there with the Nightmare Grinds. Um, I, you know, th these weren't in my budget, unfortunately, but I got to look. Here's another maker I wasn't aware of uh, before. Um, I believe um, they are, who was the designer? I have the card right here, let me grab it. <clears throat> so we had some button locks and some regular frame locks. The, uh, the detent on the button locks was very, very weak. You can see when I tried to reverse flick that one. Um, super interesting design though, man. I really liked it. It kind of reminded me of like a way futuristic Spider Co. sort of. Um, really, really loved it. Um, here's another one. So this looks like uh, copper or um, brass, but it's actually not. It's actually uh, titanium with some kind of finish on it. I asked him how he did it, how he got that finish, and he wouldn't tell me. <laughs> but it looks like aged copper and it's just really really light so it's it's titanium it's crazy so the name of this maker is uh armor it's r-m-o-r -R, so armor knives made in the usa uh, this guy makes them in his shop just really cool stuff very unique they were surprisingly ergonomic too um like I said, these ones that uh, these regular frame lock ones had good detents. Just the button lock ones were really weak on the detent. Um, but gosh, look how cool that is, man! It's like a yeah, it's like a Spiderco from the future, just whacked out Spiderco. Super unique, man. Really, really enjoyed these. I didn't get the price on them. Oh, you can see it down there, eleven hundred bucks. Yeah. And he had this crazy uh, kookery too. Okay. Uh, what are, where are we now? Oh, Protec. Oh gosh, this was this might have been one of my favorite booths. This is a, a super fancy. Was it the? I uh, can't remember the name of this one right now. It's uh, I should know this. Uh, I can't remember. Um, Damascus uh, bronzed uh, titanium on the handle, and here. One of the coolest things I handled, titanium, uh, textured titanium Malibu with the uh, compound ground mirrored finish blade. This thing was insane, dude. You just saw my dad put his fingerprints all over the blade right before he handed it to me. Asshole. <laughs> um, gosh, this thing was just beautiful, dude. Uh, it's so smooth. Um, Oh yeah, the Glycon. I got to check out the Glycon. I saw this and I just raced over and, and grabbed it. And um, man, it fired hard. Um, it felt really good. I will say the side buttons or the side switches were kind of hard to actuate. Um, you know, they weren't as raised as the larger one on the, on the back of the knife. And um, I kind of felt my fingers slipping off of it. Um, but the main switch definitely worked very well. Um, here's just a, a cool Gemini, a titanium Gemini, the Conoco design. Um, super smooth, man. This is my first time checking out a Gemini, actually. But it had a cool scale. Figured I'd show you guys. I really need to get a Gemini badly. Here's another Kaiser. I don't know the name of this one, but it had matching skills to the Gemini. Pretty interesting. Here we got Gromit's Knife and Carry. This is a, uh, they're a, a distributor. They have a website and they had some absolutely gnarly uh, Medfords. I had never handled a Medford before and this thing was just massive, dude. It was almost like comical how absolutely massive it was and, and impractical it was. <laughs> like, holy crap, dude. Um, it just, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> But then they have some more over here that made sense. I can't remember the name of this one. If I was to get a Medford, it would be something like this. I actually really liked this one. Felt very good. The reverse flick was excellent. Um, just dug the design on that one. And then up here are some Spartan Harsies. Here's some more, uh, mara uh, I think they're Marauders. Here's some cool Spartan Harsies. Super fancy. Um, these are not, uh, at least they didn't seem to me to be really flickers. Um, kind of reminded me of a Sebenza where it's, it's you know, tight, 
uh, type tolerances, kind of a slow roller kind of thing. Not something you're going to be flicking out. Um, but man, it felt super solid and super quality. I'll tell you that. Here we are at uh, Oxworks. First time handling any of his knives also. Here were some more fancy ones. Really nice looking knives. I like his designs. Um, and then up here is one that he just released. I forget the name of it. I saw it on a Metal Complex video a while back. But I actually really like this little guy. Um, pretty small. I like how he did the, um, the kind of double inlay, one with milling and one with a carbon fiber inlay. Thumb studs worked really good. Um, the thumb stud is kind of in the cutting path. Um, the front flipper worked good. It was just my thumb is still hurt, and I couldn't really do it how I wanted to, to do it. Um, I liked this one. And then this one also. Um, just kind of a, you know, relatively simple, but very well made. Um, I need to do more research into Oxworks. Um, from what I saw today, um, he made some good stuff, man. Here we are at um, Terrain 365. So these are, this is a Terravantium uh, blade. Um, you might recognize uh, that, you know, the, the, uh, that from, um, what's it called? I can't remember. The, uh, I don't know, Terravantium blades. Here's some Mavericks, uh, Maverick custom knives. Never handled these before. Very high quality. I like this, um, sheep's foot blade with a hollow grind just kind of simple but really good looking very smooth excellent detent on this one excellent detent i believe this was the same knife but with um, the blasted hardware instead of the satin hardware yeah cool milling on the handle Cool stuff. Maverick Customs. And here is the infamous Benchmade Narrows. I cannot believe I got to handle this this thing, man. It was, dude, it was ridiculously thin, man. I mean, thinner than I was expecting. Um, you know, I, I can't believe I finally got to handle it. I will say, very, very smooth. Super, super smooth um, uh, action. Um, you know, the access lock, the tabs on it felt a little small. You can, here it is against the, I think it's the barrage, but you can see how thin it was. I was trying to compare it, but it, I kind of didn't get a good angle. But man, pulling back that access lock, look how free swinging the blade is. Like, very free swinging. Um, the tabs were kind of small, and it almost felt like it was hard to get a, a super good grip on them. Um, and there was basically no detent. Um, you know. It, basically no detent at all so uh, didn't make me want to buy one at all you know just kind of confirmed what I kind of thought would be the case here's a new prototype this is I'm not sure what it's called but it's an assisted knife um, so you it has a flipper tab and you give it a little push and then it you know the spring takes it the rest of the way um, I was hoping it would be a manual because you know it kind of looks cool it's got an aluminum handle I like that or at least maybe an auto. Uh, I think it's a pretty good looking design though. I'm sure it's a uh, priced way out of this world steep. This is the same thing, another assisted one. But yeah, no new prototypes. Figured I'd show you guys. This one had a lock on it, safety of the future. And then here we are. I got to handle my first Shirogorov. This is the Quantum. Beautiful, beautiful knife. Um, I will say I was not blown away with the action. I was not blown away. It definitely had a good detent. Definitely very good detent. Um, it wasn't false shut, really, or anything. Um, you know, I'm sure thousands of people had handled these, so you, know, you can't really judge it too harshly um, since it's been handled so many times by so many people. This one um, had a good detent, too. Not sure what the handle material was. It felt almost a little too light. Certainly beautiful, though. And then here's my dad. He bought his first uh, real knife. He bought a um, Protec Newport. I wanted to film him uh, unboxing it 
he was really excited to do this. He watches my videos. He was really excited to uh, unbox something like I do. <laughs> mm. It's probably gonna feel better than the one in there because that was the one. He was torn was between this so and the Malibu. He almost bought a Malibu, so and then decided he wanted something a little bit smaller and a little bit pokier. All he really does is, uh, you know, light duty stuff. This one had a mosaic button, so it was kind of a special Newport. <laughs> so nice. And um, he he ab he really loves it. I can tell. Um, so cool. I might have got him hooked into the knife world with this thing. Uh, On the drive back, he was just sitting there flicking this thing. Well, that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed that footage of the knife show. I tried to uh, I tried to film most things that I thought you guys would find interesting. Obviously, there was thousands of knives. I wasn't able to get everything. Um, I had such a good time, man. Like I said, I got to handle things. I probably never would have handled otherwise, obviously wouldn't have handled otherwise. Um, just so many things that I always wanted to check out that I finally could. Um, I feel like I'm more rounded as a, a person and as a reviewer now, having handled some of these things that I hadn't gotten a chance to. So um, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna do a video on uh, the purchases that I made at the knife show. Uh, I didn't go crazy, I bought three knives. Um, you know, I, I didn't go there with a, that big of a budget. Um, I wanted to go with more, but I just I couldn't really make it happen. But um, I'm really happy with what I got. So I'm going to do a video uh, dedicated to the purchases. And stay tuned for that. Love you guys. Please like the video. Subscribe. All that good stuff. You're awesome. Love you guys. Peace.